Hello all, um, it's been a long time, you know, I've been, some could say, busy with things, as you could see, so you could see I cut my hair again, one time, um, where have I been, been a bum, working, look for jobs, other things come up, so you know, I've been on like a two or three months hiatus, I'm guessing it's two or three months, so um, this is the first thing I'm going to do, since the new DC 52 started, I was going to talk about a couple issues of comics that got rounded up in August to make way for the new 52. And I, I read all DC comics, only a few, well, a few, I'll say about 20. Um, and the ones I have read, which would be Justice League, Green Arrow. All the Batman stuff, except for Gotham City Sirens, Detective Comics, which I don't know why I didn't read that. That's probably like the best Batman comic going, or was going. Um, just things like that. And Flashpoint, which was also good, very good as well. So, so basically, um, one issue I want to say really, really was probably the best close up to a comic ever was Batgirl 24 um, it's a real shame that this comic has ended to be honest done by Brian Q. Miller up by Perry Perez it's just the lead up to this comic was really really good and it's just it was emotional that's not to be lame it really was it showed what Batgirl could have been if they carried on with, with Stephanie Brown. So going back to Barbara Gordon in the New 52, it was, it was really good. You see her becoming some sort of like female Nightwing, having a kid, teaming up with the other Batgirls, joining the Teen Titans, being a Lantern. It was, it's a shame that it, it really, it, seriously, like, it's been one of my favourite comments for the last two years. It's just a shame that it's gone. Um, so was Red Robin, number 26, that was really good as well. Just showing Tim coming to terms with his father dying by the hand of Captain Boomerang Senior. And he had a chance to kill him, but he remembered everything Bruce taught him and he decided not to kill him and it had a little nice moment between him and Bruce who was like being his second father it was really cool I like that book Batman was okay just Damien talking about how great Dick Grayson is because he is it's a shame that he's going back to being Nightwing and I'd like to see re in a new Nightwing comment I want to see a good explanation why he went back to being Nightwing not just because oh Bruce is back I'm going to be Nightwing again if it's that then I'll be very pissed also, Justice League, I think it was 49, 50, no, no it's not 50, 50 something, I can't actually remember, I lent to a friend so I can't actually remember the issue right now, it was kind of lame, the whole series to be general since James Robinson took over after Cry for Justice where it was, it been pretty lame, I only bought it because it Nightwing and Donna Troy, well sorry, Dick Grace and Batman and Donna Troy on the team and they're like some of my favourite characters and since then it's been just lame and I think how they ended it how they sort of done how Donna Troy and me in New 52 was kind of lame she's like I don't want to be Donna Troy no more the only reason I started doing it but kept them doing it because Diana asked me to join the Justice League so I did I was like really that's how you're gonna get rid of her it's pretty shitty to tell you the truth um, Titans that was a good way how they ended it even though it left me wanting more, because how it ended with you found out why real reason why Roy joined Deathstroke and that uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. It's a bit of a shame they've ended it. Same with Teen Titans. Again, that's a, it was really good. Ever since TK, sorry, JT Crow took over, it's been pretty good. Even though I didn't really got to read it much, but it's been good. I've been getting it. His run in, well, I'm waiting for his one to come out and trace and finish that off. Everything else, I can't actually remember what I've read, was alright. Green Arrow ended pretty cool. Green Lanterns ended alright, they're pretty good as well. 
even though it really was a sell for New 52 with Sinetra being the new Green Lantern of Sector 2814, the Renegade Lantern, and how Carl and John have got beef over what he did to Mogo. And Guy Gardner is still Guy Gardner in his awesomeness, probably the best ginger character of all time next to Roy Harper. Um, yeah, Flashpoint. Really good. It's another thing I'll talk about for another time. Yeah. But I'm signing off. Tell me what you think about how 52 end, well, DC Universe ended. I'll get back to you. Bye.